Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today's Lightroom tutorial is going to be just a little bit different. Recently, Adobe updated the way uh, Lightroom now imports files, and the screens changed a little bit different. So to help everyone out, I'm going to show everybody how to import files. So, I've already got my SD card put into the computer, so we can go over here and now hit the import. Now, you can notice now the screen has changed quite a bit. And there's different ways you can browse your computer. It shows a few things where you can pull files. But really, what you have here is you've got your card or your drives. Now, if you get your camera pl uh, plugged in, the camera will light, will light up. Now, I'm going to be pulling stuff off the card. So, just need to click on my card. Okay. Now, you can notice it looks a little more minimalistic. There ain't a whole lot to the screen, but most of your functions are still here. The only thing I've noticed is now gone is the move option. Now, there may be a different way to do it, but I currently do not see it. So, but for basic importing, it's not too bad. Now we have all our files over here. You can see they're all checked. You can click select all, uncheck it, or uncheck it. So you can go through here and check the ones you want. Or just, you know, select all and have them all selected. Okay. Now, if you had some subfolders, you do have the option to include subfolders or not. Now, if we go over here, most everybody will probably have their stuff already closed out. At most, you might have destination. Now, I'm going to drop mine all down and explain every one of these. Now, the file handling right here is currently the copy. Okay. The destination folder. This is the one thing I, one thing I really don't care too much for. And you can put it in a subfolder now if you want to. But when you click on select, it pulls up this screen, you know, this little dialog, file dialog screen, and it might be a little confusing to everybody. Okay. So if I go back to my root directory, which is Exodus Photography, you can see I have quite a few different, you know, subfolders listed in it. Now for this one, I'm going to click on tutorial. So the computer knows to drop my files in the tutorial folder. But, you know, if, depending on where you want them put. Which, now, you can still create new folders and drop them in there. This may be, you know, a little bit easier for some people. I understand what they're doing here, but somebody who might be used to the old screen, you know, this might be a little confusing for them. So, since I am under my main director, Exodus Photography, I can simply drop it in tutorials. So, we can pull up this screen right here, and this might help you understand a little bit better. Then you can see Exodus Photography Subdirectory Tutorials. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Choose. And that's the folder. You now see it's Destination Folder it listed as Tutorial. Now, if we still want to drop it into another subfolder, we can do that. I'm not on this one. But we do have the op option to add to collection. Now, if you click on it, you get more of a screen that you may be used to for your collections and stuff. Now, I really wish they would have done this for the other, but this isn't a review, it's a tutorial. Now, I'm not going to drop this particular images into any collection. It's just for tutorial. But as you can see, if you wanted to, you can put them anywhere you folder, uh, collection folder that you wanted to. Okay. Now, the one thing I do really like is you can now add uh, caption and copyright information. So, if you want to put in like uh, your keyword and metadata, you can put that in. If you want to put your copyright information in, I already have mine got typed in. You know, it's like two lines of it here. And you can also add any metadata presets. I don't use any, so I don't have any also selected. But now if you go down here to advanced, you still got a lot of your import options. You got convert to DNG, make a second copy, rename the files, which I am going to do. And you also have like build smart previews if you want to. And also at the top, you import presets. I don't have any import presets. Now I do have a lot of developed presets and stuff. So if you really want to have some set up, but a lot of people do use uh, develop presets, you can go ahead and apply them right there. Okay. So now I get down here, I do see I have rename files checked. Choose a template. I have a date file name template where I want mine set up. And the extensions I leave as is. You can have uppercase or lower uh, case or uh, uppercase. But I'm going to leave mine as you know, camera raw. If I wanted to convert over to DNG, that is the option to it right there. 
And that's simply it. That's all there really is to this new import dialog screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click import files and let's start importing them in. And that's it. That's the new import option for Lightroom. So hope this tutorial is helpful. <laughs> I hope it explained a few changes and uh, so you can better understand how to import your files and stuff now. I said the only thing I've noticed that's really missing that was the move option. They may have it hidden in there somewhere or another. I was told it's still there, but I haven't found it. But it's just really not sticking out like it used to, like I enjoyed using. So, but anyway, I hope everybody likes this tutorial. I hope it helps everybody better understand the import module now. And if you like my video, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, you know, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.